What's wrong with my hat? All right, listen. I've been doing some research at the Carlos business. That's 7,500 bucks profit a mm. kilo. So they try to give us 35,000. Or not take 35,000, but get, try to give us stuff and then try robbing us right after. Makes sense. I think we're good. I don't think anybody else will come, but. Get in the heck out of here. What do you think I'm doing? Relax. Sure. What's going on, everyone? It's Johnny, and welcome to Chapter 12 of the Mafia 2 Definitive Edition. We're on Sea Gift. When we last left off, uh, people burnt my house down. Now we're at Marty's old apartment. My house burnt to the ground, along with almost every penny I had. There was even some trouble with the cops, but Eddie took care of that. And since I didn't have any insurance, I had to live in this shithole of an apartment until I could get back on my feet. Okay. At least I managed to save Leo. He disappeared without a trace. I doubt Frank Vinci even knew where he went. And even though Henry failed to deliver on the contract, Eddie still brought him in when he heard Leo had skipped town. Me and Joe had a new partner. Okay, I was waiting for the phone to ring. I'm sure that was going to happen. I couldn't leave. Hey, Vito. It's Henry. Hey. Listen, I'm setting up something big. I want you to come in on it. If you're interested in hearing more, come meet me at Lincoln Park and bring a piece. Okay. I'll see you there. Boom. All right, let's go ahead and uh, meet Henry. So I wonder if we have our cars. If we have our cars, it ain't that big of a deal. But we had a lot of nice ones. Yeah, there we go. Do this one again. So far, this one's my favorite in this entire game. The red one's nice too, I guess, but. Hey. See if we can squeeze through here. Thing about this one is, if cops are on us, man, it don't matter, because we this thing is so fast and so quick. By the time they say uh, chase in progress, it we're we're gone. Hey, here he comes. Hey, what's up? Hey, Vito, take a seat. What's wrong with my hat? All right, listen, I've been doing some research at the Carlos business. So, so the only reason he had Clemente killed was because he was selling dope too, and he was stealing his customers. Now he just needs to get rid of one last obstacle. <laughs> The one guy who could fuck things up. <laughs> oh, this remaster makes me laugh. For the whole city. Frank Vinci. Where'd you get all this? I talked to a few people I trust. Okay. So what does this have to do with us? Because if he can do it, why can't we? A kilo of heroin costs 2500 bucks over in France. Then it's another 1000 bucks to get it here. And? And we pick up 11 grand for just driving the stuff to the dealers. That's 7,500 bucks profit a mm. kilo. Yeah, but what about Falcone? Carlo won't find out. And even if he does, he'll just threaten us and demand a cut. All right, but if Carlo's the only big supplier in the city, where are you going to buy the stuff from? I'm way ahead of you. What do you two know about the Tongs? The Chinks? Some kind of organization for Chinese immigrants, right? That's what I said, the Chinks. Right, but it's also a front for their other operations. Horrible. They run the Chinese quarter, and they keep to themselves. But some of them are interested in doing business with outsiders, and they need middlemen since most people are afraid to deal with them. And we're the middlemen. Yep. They'll give us 10 kilos to start. For how much? 35 grand. Whew. And we can sell it for... 110. <whistles> nice. nice. Okay, well, where the hell are we going to get our hands on 35 grand? I know a loan shark, the Yid over on Palisade. I think a loan is 35 if we give him 45 back. Now that means our take is over 20 grand a piece. Not bad for just moving the shit from one place to another. But you know, who's gonna end up using this crap? What do you care? As long as it isn't an alley. Of course, Vinci was right. Drugs are bad news, they kill people. Look, only idiots do drugs. Deadbeats and losers. If they want to kill themselves so badly, I'd gladly help them out. Especially for 20 grand. I got buyers in the ghetto. They'll take care of the distribution. So we don't need to worry about that. Are you guys in or not? Gonna have I'm to in. be because nah, don't be stupid, Vito. Twenty fucking grand in one afternoon. You know, a house or anything, so yeah. When? Right now. If we don't take the offer, the towns will just find somebody else. Come on, Vito, it'll be a piece of cake. Let's go see Bruno then. Vito, how about you want us all down there? He's on Palisade Street. Okay, let's go. I didn't bring a freaking car that can fit us all in it. Like, I don't think you guys fully understand that my car does not hold three people. Come on, Joe. Oh, God, police car. Oh, my God. We're out of here. 
We are out of here. So who's this guy we're gonna see, Henry? His name's Bruno. He's one of the only guys in town who could do a loan this big. What if he doesn't give it to us, then what? Then the deal's off. But don't worry, I know this guy. He'll give us the money. There ain't nobody else we can get this kind of money from? There's three of the guys I know of. But if you want to ask Carlo or Frank Vinci for 35 grand, be my guest. Yeah, no thanks. Who's the third guy? He ain't in business no more. Somebody blew up a room full of his guys and shot him <coughs> point blank in the face with a Tommy gun. Oh, that guy. Come on, we said we wasn't gonna talk about that. All right, so, Henry, what is this guy, rich or something? I think he gets his money from some of the bosses from out of town who sit on the commission. Yeah? No oh, shit. Yeah, which is why we can't stiff the guy. Besides, we gotta keep this quiet. Can we trust him? Sure. Wise guy's been borrowing money from this guy forever. As long as we pay him back on time, we won't have a problem. Sounds good to me. But, you know how this game is. That means we're probably gonna get into some trouble again. So... Easy, you're gonna get us killed. Ah, well. Ah, it wasn't that bad. You're worse than abroad. You can literally drive if you don't want me to drive, so... Just a heads up, you know? Uh, looks like it's on the other side. Of course there's a cop right next to us. Can we, can we squeeze by him without, uh... Hey, you just blew the light. This is it, stop here. All right. Looks like it's back in this back alley somewhere. Right here. Boom. Hi, fellas. We're here to see Bruno. Hiya, Henry. If you got guns on you, put them down there. I gotta search you. Hiya, Bruno. Hello, Henry. So, to what do I owe the pleasure of your company to? I need 35 grand in $20 bills. Oh, that's a lot of money, Henry. A lot of money. Tell me, why should I give that much to a small-time guy like you, huh? Convince me. I got a short thing. You'll have 45 by the end of the week. What kind of sure thing? Sorry, Bruno. That's a trade secret. Then 45 is not enough. I'd be more comfortable with 65. It's a bit steep, even for you. 50's all I can do. Henry, Henry, I have no guarantee I'll get my money back. And you have nowhere else to go. So, how about 60? Don't think of it as interest. It's more like my cut of the profits. 55, final offer. Anything more than that, it's not worth my time. Deal. I'll give you $35,000 today, and you'll give me $55,000 by Friday. If you don't pay it back by then, the debt goes up by 10000 every week. You'll get it by Friday. Okay. Something's gonna go horribly wrong. Isaac, prepare $35,000 and $20 bills. Now, you know I trust you, Henry, but if you screw me, remember these wise words from the Bible. And my wrath shall wax hot, and I will kill you with the sword, and your wives shall be widows, and your children fatherless. Exodus, chapter 22, verse 24. <laughs> I'm impressed. You don't seem like the church-going type. Uh, but just remember, the money isn't mine. So even if you get rid of me, that doesn't get rid of your debt. So no funny business, okay, boys? Sure, Bruno. Thank you, Isaac. You want to count it, Henry? I'll take your word for it, and I'll bring it back on Friday along with your cut. I hope so. Good luck, boys. Something is going to go horribly wrong. Horribly. We're going to get like four kilos of, of, of heroin or something, and it's just not going to go right. So we'll see how this freaking goes. Nice job, Henry. Of course. I told you give us the dough, didn't I? How come you know the Bible so good, Henry? You read it or something? Bruno always uses the same quote. I go to church on Sunday, so I asked the priest one time. You go to church? 
Yeah, and I can understand why you don't. They use big words, there's no hookers, and the food's lousy. Yeah, that pretty much sums it up. Jeez, I ain't been there since... 45. What? That time your mother made you go to confession? Yeah, that time she smacked me for checking out some chick's school. Ah, I gotta rest her soul. How about you, Joe? How long's it been? Easter. Ah, that ain't too bad. 1941. <laughs> I take that back then. You're going straight to hell. What, you just figuring that out now? Don't worry, I'll save seats for the boat. <clears throat> You know, I heard about a long shark named Bruno once. Must be the same guy. Yeah? What'd you hear? Well, you know Mickey the Crab, right? What, the guy who cleans the bathrooms at Carlos joint? Yeah, the guy who's only got a finger and a thumb on his left hand. Guess how that happened? I heard he owed a lot of money to some yid from Southport. You get my drift? Oh, right. I get the picture. Haha, <laughs> don't worry, though. Crab's a moron. Nothing like that's gonna happen to us. You're right. We'll see. We'll see what happens. We're about there right now. Boom. Follow the Chinese guy. Now just follow me. Alright. Follow you, Henry. Hey, we got some business with your boss. Follow me, gentlemen. Mr. Wong is expecting you. God, I want to see what, um, what's going to happen. We're going to get... Or something's going to happen. We're going to have like a shootout or... Something. Because it never goes right with this with this game. Never. I bet we I bet I bet they short us. Or they gave us some fake stuff or something. Something is gonna happen. And how freaking far away is this thing? Let's see a thirty-five thousand, you have to give them sixty-five thousand. We can sell for a hundred and ten. That's what? Fifteen thirty like what? 10 to 15,000 a piece after everything's done. 65, 75, 85, 95, 100 be close. Welcome, Henry. Hello, Mr. Wang. Let us get straight to business. Is your suitcase heavy enough? See for yourself. All right, take it away and bring the goods. You're a good man, Henry. Here is your merchandise. Each bag contains one kilo. Each kilo weighs a little more than two pounds. Which one do you want to test? <laughs> Awkward. Okay, we're good. I'm glad. Next time, we can give you twice the amount. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Wong. The pleasure was all mine. All right, we got it. Knock it off. See how easy that was? Get back in the car. Right, fellas, the hot pot's over. Now we just gotta make the exchange and we're done. Sounds good to me. Where are we headed? Hunters. I got it all lined up. Perfect. Hello, gentlemen. Mm, I knew it. I think you have something for us. Drop the suitcases. I freaking knew it. My shoes. Wait a minute. These guys ain't cops. Kill the bastard! Shoot Vito! There we go. Vito, watch our back. I'm going in! Fuck you! Okay. Here comes more of them! Hey. Hold on. There's still two of them. Come on! Aw, oh, shit. Can't go back that way. Run! Move your asses! Oh, wait, we're going up top? Get out of there, Vito! I'm working on it. I can only go so freaking Don't fast. Just fucking stand there, Vito! Move! Thanks over there! Vito, watch our back. Oh, do I gotta watch your bag? Why don't you watch my bag? That's a real question. Damn it, Vito. No Stay down. Up here. Let's get down there. All right, let's go. Vito, kick the door in. I ain't kicking nothing in. 
So they try to give us 35,000 or not take 35,000 but get, try to give us stuff and then try robbing us right after Makes sense. All right, I'm gonna die if I don't be careful here. Gotcha. chill, get a right health back but I, don't, I don't I don't have a uh, Molotov anymore for God You're lucky I couldn't get you Go. Keep going. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Going down now, huh? It's all right. God, the camera is so stupid. All right, I'm gonna go this way. Come on out. I can't shoot through that. All right. I'm going to try and get behind him. There he is. Let's kill that fucker. <sighs> oh. My god, dude. So there are two guys here. Got to I got to get up. When well, they got these freaking assault rifles, man, it's a uh, at least Tommy guns. It's a little bit difficult to do them just pistols. I see you die so fast in this game. It's unreal how fast you die. All right, I'm gonna push up the left here and see if we can get him to the this. Kind of like that. How's that work out for you, douchebag? P40. We'll take the MP40. All right. Try to get all this ammo as much as we can here. Oh, we gotta, we gotta leave, so we gotta get out of here, right? There's more. Ah, show yourself. More. You like my okay. Okay, one there. If I can just get down. One right here. Got him. Okay, there's one right here yet. Okay. Car won't fit all passengers. Woo! Jeez. All right, let's get into a car here. Get in. I think we're good. I don't think anybody else will come, but get in the heck out of here. What do you think I'm doing? Relax, shit. That was fucking close. Oh man, okay. It's not over yet. They're coming after us. Fuck, lose them. Yeah, okay. How do you expect me to do that in this type of car? This one's mine. What are you scared, asshole? As long as you guys can freaking get them, we're good. We just gotta, we gotta lose them. Joey, I need you to stay in the car. Watch your head, Henry. Henry, watch your head. You out of your mind? As long as we can get this little straight stretch right here, we'll get a little good little head start on him. Of course. Of course. This way. They're still on us, aren't they? Just leave us alone, please. If this car were to go a little bit faster, it'd be different. Then it's down. Okay. Hey, can you guys stop shooting? Thank you. We should be able to lose him now. Drive to the warehouse on Evergreen Street. You gotta tell me twice. Let's get up out of here. What the fuck was that, Henry? No idea. Somebody else must have known about the deal. Those definitely weren't real cops. 
Maybe it was the chinks trying to fuck us. Nah, I doubt it. Look, I'll figure it out. But first, we gotta unload this stuff. Vito, take us to the old warehouse in Hunters. All right. I hope this deal goes better than the last one. It will. Not like it can go any worse, right? So who are we selling the stuff to? Uh, a bunch of different guys. Oh, whoa, whoa. What do you mean a bunch of different driver. guys? A bunch of different Roger guys. That. What did all that shooting back there make you deaf? I thought you said we were just moving this garbage from one place to another. Yeah, well, you make a lot more money if you sell this. In pursuit guys. of a speeding well, vehicle. Really nice to know before I agreed to go in on this. If I did, from the way you were talking back in the park, you probably wouldn't have. Yeah, exactly. Hey, here we are. Let me do the talking. These are tough guys, so no wise ass comments. All right, Joe? Okay. Hey, guys, how you doing? Hey, man. Come on in. <coughs> Shit! It smoked. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, game with the audio. This I can tell when it's not gonna do it because it gets all like framey. Uh, we did it. He, we hit the jackpot. Hey, hey, take it easy. We're not done yet. Lighten up, will you, Henry? What's the matter? All of a sudden, money don't make you happy. After we pay back Bruno, you get your cut, then you could be happy. All right, all right. Don't no, nothing here, I guess, huh? Okay, so it's a little. It's like a little cutscene. Them dealing stuff. All right, so far so good. Money, there's a derp. Hey, I think you're going decent, I guess. How many times we do this? What's happening? I wish I had freaking audio game. It's so stupid. Freaking Joe's passed out in the back. <laughs> He's passed out in the front. Uh, ooh, girls now. We're living our freaking baller life. They must have messed up the audio when they were doing the remaster or whatever because that's three times now that we've had no audio It's always for those type of those cutscenes. All right, chapter 13 act of the dragon. This is the last mission There's a part by September 24th 1951 All right guys, that was chapter 12 of Mafia 2 definitive edition If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you guys do YouTube thing like comment subscribe and show your friends And as always my name is Johnny. I'll be seeing you guys in the next episode. Listen, I'm sorry for the cutscene audio wasn't my fault, okay? Don't know why it's not like that, but it is. Um, I'll see you guys and then soon. See you guys as soon. Words. Bye.